you have you have seen in last session uh, about the variables declaration and variables initialization part and all. Uh, system dot out dot println uh, is help us to print the value. Any value you can print it. Whatever the variables are there here, you can you can print any value like. I want to print uh, my variable as. Uh, yes, I want to print it. Then just run it. Here is the run button. See, result is printed successfully. So this is how you can perform the variables declaration and initialization. And is variables declaration is mandatory in Java? Yes, it is mandatory. You need to mention what type of variable, what type of data you are going to store. You have to mention whether it is a int, float, or char, or string, or boolean, any type. Okay, so variable declaration is mandatory, and uh, by using equal to operator, you can assign the data into it. Okay, today um, in this session we are going to see uh, decision making statements or conditional statements. Uh, which are having if and if else will be there and switch statement will be there so we're going to see how it will help us for the uh, conditional statements and all okay let me create a new class always give capital starts with capital letter for the classes guys okay conditional example select this this is the starting point as i told you for any java program Public static void main. See, for example, see why we need conditional statements and all. Very simple. So, conditional statements mainly helpful for us. You want to perform some operation, okay? Uh, you want to perform some operation like um, you have some value is there here. Value like n equal to 100 is there. You want to verify whether this value is greater than 100 or equal to 100 or less than 100 and all. Okay, so that is different cases. So if it is uh, based on the condition, you want to perform some operation and all. So based on the condition here, you can take if it is uh, less than 100. Depends on the conditions, guys. Depends on the con here. Your condition is like greater than 100. That so that completely depends on greater than 100. So, if this condition satisfies, it need to perform something. If this condition satisfies, it need to perform some other thing. So, depends on the condition, you want to execute some set of statements, then you need to go for conditional statements. Okay, in the conditional statements, we are having is if else, if, if and if else, and switch cases will be there. Okay, these two conditional statements we can use in Java. If else and switch case statements and all. Let me see one by one. See, for example, as I told you, I am taking int uh, num equal to 100. I want to verify. The syntax for this is if here your condition you need to provide. My condition is num less than 200 or not, I am going to check it out. Okay. So, if number less than 200, then what I want to print? I want to, I want to print like number is less than 200 okay if condition not satisfied if condition not satisfied it is not going to print let me so what it is going to happen if your number is less than 200 it is going to print it if it is not less than 200 it is not going to print anything so please run and verify see number is less than 200 it verified this condition condition is true and then it is displaying this uh, printing statement for us and all. Let me assume, I am giving here my number equal to 500. Now what will happen? Condition is satisfying. No, two. So number is greater than 200. Then it will not come inside. So nothing is there. So it is not going to print anything for us. See, nothing is printed here. So based on the condition, you want to execute it and all. Then you need to go for a conditional statement that is if. So that is if part. If my condition is not satisfied, if my condition is false, I want to execute uh, this statement, for example. Okay, number is number is greater than 200. Now what will happen? Tell me. Here number is less than 200. Okay, if number is less than 200, it is going to print this statement, uh, the first statement. 
if number is greater than 200 it is going to come to the else block and it will run this statement this is if else so here if it is true it is going to run first statement if it is false it is going to run this statement okay let me run it it need to print now second else statement see here number is greater than 200 okay if you want you can add few more conditions also here okay else if my number i want to verify less than 100 want to verify what less than 100 also now what will happen tell me which condition is it going to run what is going to print see first this condition it will verify it is false come to the else if this condition is less than 100 no here also it is false now it is not going to print anything for us see nothing is going to print because none of the conditions got matched if i am having another condition here this out okay, my condition is number is greater than 100 i am okay so here is number greater than 100 okay that's fine here see the these two conditions false but this condition is else condition it is executing now so like this way we can use the if else and nested if else also this is nested so based on the condition you want to run anything then you can go with conditional statements okay if and if else statements we can use it so like this way conditional statements we can use it in our program and all uh, we required this very much in our automation and all with selenium yeah please practice uh, this part and all for example my number is now 50 what is going to happen now which condition will run tell me so number is 50 so 50 is less than 200 the first one it is going to run or else i am giving number is uh, 250 now what will happen the first condition fail second condition also fail then it will run this statement number is greater than 100 so this way multiple conditions you want to write it you can write and accordingly you can execute if condition is true it will run particular uh, corresponding block if condition is false it will go to else condition and it will verify and if none of the conditions matched and if else condition is there then it is going to run your else condition under okay so this way if and if else is going to work similarly let me create a new class for switch case also try to remember the syntaxes guys this case example okay so switch case also very simple whereas the conditional statement you can see different conditions if you are having more than 10 20 conditions are required then each and every condition it need to verify right see how it is executing this condition it is verifying if it is false again coming here if any condition here also will be there again it will come so if uh, 10 20 conditions are there each and every condition from top to bottom it is going to verify here okay so internally yeah the performance of the script will come down then in those conditions if you want to put multiple conditions uh, then you need to go for switch case statements so how it is going to work see here so here also i'm taking int num equal to some value 5 okay so switch switch of number okay i'm taking switch of number here case for example 0 case 0 what i want to print um, I want to print uh, number is 0 I want to print number is 0 similarly I want to have the multiple switch cases here I want to have multiple switch cases here so let me add n number of cases here and a default case also will be there is default default means if none of the conditions are matching then it will display the default uh, one so it is default block okay so why it is giving error means see all the cases are same right so that is the reason it is giving error so 
have 0, here it is 1, here it is 2, it is 3, it is 4, it is 5, okay. This is case default, uh, what is the problem? Okay. Okay, fine. So, you can see here guys, number equal to 5. So, this condition need to run now. So, if it is matching this case, it will not check all the remaining cases and all. Then the performance of the script will be goes up. So, if you are having more number of conditions or you want to verify, then you need to come for switch case. If you are having only few conditions, then you can go with if else. Okay. So, but either of the cases based on the condition or based on the value, it is going to perform execution of particular block of statement. Okay. See here, if I run now, it is going to run case 5 now. See, case number is 5. And why default block is running here? Okay. See, let me give here 0. Now, observe carefully here what is happening. It need to run this case, right? Case 0 but it will run all these cases. It will run all these cases. I will tell you the reason. Okay. So, but particular case, you want to run it and you don't want to run remaining. See, usually what is happening is, uh, you will understand now. I am giving 3 here. Now run it. Below 3, all will run. See, 3, 4, 5 default block. Okay. So, the problem here is, you need to add the break. Okay, break statement will help you to break your execution. Okay, break statement will help you what? To break from the execution. Okay, so break even we will use in loops also that we will discuss later. See, now if you will run it, what will happen? Only third one it is going to run because it will break from there. It will not run remaining statements. See, only third one it is executed. Is 3 only it is executed. Since you have used break, it will exit from here. See, it will exit from the switch case. It will not continue with the execution. So, wherever any case is matching, wherever any case is matching, so it will exit from here, from the switch case. So, that is the reason remaining all are not executed. That is the importance of a break. Even break, uh, we will use it in loopings also. I will tell you. Okay, this is about the switch case. You want to perform you want to verify multiple conditions, then you can go with switch case statement solves. Okay, this way you can work with the switch case statement and all. So, these two are the conditional statements where we have in Java. So, one is if and if else are nested if else. And based on the condition you want to go, then go with the if else or if condition that depends on your requirement. Uh, based on the condition you want to run particular set of statements, you need to come for if. Or based on same here also based on the value based on the input you want to run particular block of statements then you need to come for switch case statements and all okay so that's all for this video thank you